Hi, my name is Bill, and I want to welcome you to Pause. And today's word is a very relevant word. It's relativism. Relativism. Another word for it could probably be postmodernism. And here's what relativism says. It says that, you know, something that is wrong today could be right tomorrow. Something that's bad today could be good tomorrow. Something that's useful today can be useless tomorrow and vice versa. Now, it's important to realize there's times it might be true. I don't want to have a Commodore 64 computer. <laughs> Things have changed, baby. Even the Pentium 386, I remember when that was like, we're talking, or an XT or an AT computer. This was rocket science. And today, friends, you wouldn't even send it to the junkyard. It would be rejected. It's a whole different program. So there are things that are relativistically speaking. They, they do change, and they're no longer useful. When it comes to right and wrong, never relative. And yet, for many people, it is. When it comes to moral and immoral, it should never be relative. When it comes to, guess what, friends? Absolute truth. It's absolutely absolute. It's not relativistic. I want to ask you, what areas of your life, where have you made changes where it's good you changed? Because maybe you were wrong to begin with, and now you've come to an absolute truth, or maybe you were right, and then things are changed. It's no longer a useful commodity. That's fine. That is relativistic. But what absolute areas of your life have we kind of, through gradualism, we've, got, we've joined the frog and we've been boiled to death? I want to let you know something, friends. If you want an absolute security in your future, it is vital that you don't live by relativism. So just, I want you to take a moment now, and I want you to reflect and pause and consider the absolute truths in your life.